Hello, everybody, um, and welcome to the GLOFAS webinar. Another of these webinars, I know, but hopefully very soon we will be able to meet face to face. I am Christelle Prudhomme. Uh, I'm from the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecast, and I will be sharing this event. ECMWF is the computational center of GLOFAS, and we're delighted to be co-hosting this webinar with the Anticipation Hub, which is a knowledge exchange and learning platform on anticipatory action uh, hosted by the German Red Cross. This webinar is also supported by the Joint Research Center of the European Commission, and really I want to thank everybody um, to, to have helped. It's kind of really well appreciated. So um, this event first it marks the launch yesterday of uh, the latest GLOFAST cycle, what we call GLOFAST 3.1. And really we, we wanted to take this opportunity for us to share with you what it is all about um, and being able to have a little bit of a, some sort of discussion and Q&A. So um, thank you very much for attending. We'll, um, we've got a very full schedule. We've got opening remarks by Peter Salomon from the JRC. We've got then a bunch of presentations about three, GLOFAS 3.1 and, and how GLOFAS is used for anticipatory action. We've got uh, then some sort of Q&A session as interactive as we can um, bear with us. Um, and then after that, we'll have a kind of more a demonstration session for those who perhaps know a bit less about GLOFAS and want to learn more. So, you know, everybody is welcome to, to, to um, carry on with us. The meeting will be recorded, had the recording has started, and we'll, we'll be using that for outreach material. So how is it going to work? I mean, a lot of the talks will be from us, but you can ask questions through the Q&A box. So um, if you don't have it at the bottom of your screen, it should pop out if you click on the three button at the bottom, which is the more button, and then you click on Q&A. Um, and this is where you will post questions and, and the team will answer them. And then some of them will also be picked up for, for the discussion. Um, what else should I say? Um, check the chat box. You will be, um, you've got already kind of something about the Padlet. Uh, you'll have kind of more information and links that will be, will be uh, done there. So it's kind of to try to make it as interactive as, as we can. Um, I think that's all from me from, from now. I'm just trying to click on the next slide and it doesn't work. Here you go. So uh, Padlet, please introduce your, yourself through the Padlet and then, and then we'll, we'll summarize who's joined us uh, uh, at the end of the session. And um, yes, you will also be asked questions through the Mentimeter platform. Um, so then we, we, can, we can have your feedback about, about, uh, about today. So now um, I want Peter Salomon to give the opening remarks. Peter. Yes, thanks. Uh, thanks, Christelle. And I hope you can, uh, can all hear me well and, and, and see me well. I, I can't see myself at the moment, so I just see the slide. <laughs> now I can see myself. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see so many of you uh, here today in this, uh, in this webinar. It's really uh, a lot of familiar names, um, some, some unfamiliar as well, of course. And um, let me maybe first say a few words for those that uh, don't know uh, the Copernicus program, what, what Copernicus is about. Um, and then I'll make a few remarks also on, on, on what we try to do with, uh, with GLOFAS. I try to not be too long so that uh, you soon get to see the actual exciting stuff, which is the real uh, new developments that we are proposing here with uh, GLOFAS 
Um, so, but let's let's just uh, a quick a quick step back. So, what is what is uh, Copernicus? Um, um, Copernicus is, is the European Union's Earth Observation Program. I'm sure all of you have heard about uh, the Sentinel satellites, uh, which are really the core of of, of what uh, what the Copernicus program is about. But it's not only about satellites. It's also about bringing the data from the satellites together with models together with in situ observations to create uh, Copernicus services. And, and uh, you know, maybe or hopefully you know that we have six Copernicus services that really take the satellite data, um, bring models uh, and in situ data in there and try to produce products uh, that then can be used by directly either in, by, by uh, authorities, users, whoever, or uh, where companies can then build on add-on services and really uh, create uh, business opportunities. So um, GLOFAS um, is, is part uh, of one of these services of the Copernicus Emergency Management Service. I'm, I'm not going to say a lot about the uh, Emergency Management Service because I see also in the slides uh, that will be presented by Christelle, she will say a few words about uh, the setup. Um, but I, I, I wanted to uh, to highlight a, a couple of, of very particular things things in relation to the emergency management service and and, and particularly also to to GLOFAS. So being part of um, of an of the emergency management service and and actually a Copernicus service means that GLOFAS is is a fully operational system, meaning that it really has 24/7 support, and this is might sound trivial but it's really important when you want to include this into decision making chains um, which we will see hopefully also later um, in the use cases that will be presented by um, uh, by the red cross um, and uh, the the second point is that being an operational system um, we also continue to really try and improve the system uh, like let's say an operational weather forecast system we continuously try and work on, 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 uh, on gradually upgrading the system and making it uh, better. Um, now, just a reminder again, GLOFAS is, is uh, the flood forecasts uh, that we are providing here are not, we're not aiming to replace um, national activities in, in that field. But what we really try to do with systems like GLOFAS is to complement national efforts, to really uh, help them through providing medium-range forecasts, which are usually not available, or seasonal outlooks, also transboundary information. You know that floods don't have uh, boundaries, don't know boundaries, uh, but also to foster a little bit the uh, exchange on these topics and, and, and the innovation uh, with, with, respect, with respect to flood forecasting. So this is really a little bit also the uh, the, the the overall aims that, that we are trying to achieve with uh, with systems like uh, like Lofas. Um, having said that, uh, I know you are all looking forward to to uh, the recent upgrade, but I want to give you a, a, a two. I want to highlight a, a sneak preview of of two elements that we are already working on on the next evolution of uh, of of Glofas. Uh, one is uh, something where we will add soon uh, also into the GLOFAS map viewer uh, interface a satellite based Sentinel 1 based fully automatic flood monitoring. Uh, so keep out. Uh, we hopefully in uh, after summer will be able to share some more exciting news on that. And then um, even though we are today talking about 3.1, we uh, the, the team uh, working on the uh, further development of uh, GLOFAS is already looking uh, into um, into the next evolution, and that will include a higher spatial resolution of the system, which is currently at 0.1 degree, uh, and of course a new new calibration. So I'll but I'll, I'll leave it at that. I think we we are all uh, looking forward now to uh, to know a little bit more about uh, the the scientific technical details of GLOFAS 3.1. Um, I just wanted to thank all the colleagues um, that have made this webinar possible, colleagues uh, in, in the team at the, at the Joint Research Centre, as well as uh, colleagues at the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasting, University of Reading, and especially the, the anticipatory hub uh, from the Red Cross uh, that is uh, so um, uh, co-hosting this event. So I'll leave it at that. 
thanks a lot um, really for, um, for, for joining today and uh, I hand over the mic back to Christelle.